Hello, everybody. Okay, first of all, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a bow tie. And well, it's because bow ties are cool, so shut up. Anyway, so today I am going to be doing my review of Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. And warning, this video does contain, or sorry, this video does have spoilers. So if you have not seen Star Wars The Force Awakens yet, go see it. Like, I'm going to watch this video, and then you'll be good, okay? Okay? Have you seen it yet? Have you seen it? Okay. Let's get things started. Okay. So, first of all, I just want to say, I love this movie. Oh, my God. Ah, this is probably the best Star Wars movie I have ever seen, ever. Like, oh, my God, it was so good. Ah. And, no, seriously, guys, I freaking love this movie. It was so good. If you love Star Wars, then you are definitely going to love this movie because it is great. So first of all, let's talk about the brand new characters. We got Rey, played by Daisy Ridley. We got Finn, played by John Boyega. We got Poe Dameron, played by Oscar Isaac. We got BB-8. We got Kylo Ren, played by Adam the Driver. We got all these brand new characters. So it's so great. And of course, we got the originals back, which is awesome and cool and stuff. It's like, ah! So yes, very, very happy that... I saw this movie. If you love Star Wars, then you are definitely going to love this movie because it is so cool. Ah! Okay, so let's go into spoiler territory, okay? First of all, let's get let's get one thing straight, okay? Captain Phasma does jack shit in this movie. I kid you not, okay? She does absolutely nothing in this movie. She just stands around. Looks like she's about to shoot again. Oh, she's oh, she's trying to be like the Boba Fett or something like that. She barely does anything. Which is kind of sad because she's played by freaking Gwendolyn Christie from Game of Thrones and her, and her Games Walking J Part 2. So I was like, do something. Shoot your gun. Take off your helmet. Why? So there you go. Also, the revelation that Kylo Ren is actually Han and Leia's son, I was like, like seriously, mind blown. And it turns out that this dude's name is actually Ben Solo. Now, when I was watching the movie, I was like, wait, why is his dark side name Kylo Ren? Why isn't it Dark Kylo or something like that? But it turns out there's this, I guess, other Sith faction or something like that called the Knights of Ren, and that's what Ben Solo decided to do, but he's like, you know, decided to go to the dark side and stuff, but it's like he's being pulled toward the light and stuff like that, and ultimately, and this weird, this big alien-looking dude named Snoke, played by Andy Serkis, is like, you must kill your father in order to, in order to make sure that you don't get pulled back toward the light side, and ah! And then Kylo's like, okay. So, he freaking kills his dad. And I'm just like, I was like, and then I swear to God, I'm not kidding. I actually cried. Yes, I freaking cried when Ben Solo got killed. I was like, oh, I was supposed to yell, you bastard, or you said, oh, wait a minute, Leia's your mom. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, so, uh huh, yeah. So there you go. And, oh my gosh, BB-8. I love this character. Oh my god, thank god BB-8 is not CG. It's actually a remote control droid, which I was so happy about. And oh, thank you, J.J. Abrams, for giving this movie a good balance of practical effects and CGI. Thank you, thank you, because that was the one thing I hated about the prequels. There was so much freaking CGI almost everywhere. I was like... Thank God this movie has practical effects in it. Thank God. And thank God this movie knew when to use CGI and how to use it effectively. Yes. That's the one thing that I love about movies that has CGI in it. It knows, it knows, well basically, if a movie has CGI in it, it has to use it effectively. And thank God this movie uses CGI effectively. Thank God for that. So anyway, um, hmm. What else can I say about this movie? Oh yeah, C-3PO has a red arm for some reason. Leia is not a princess anymore. She's a general. And, okay, 
let's talk about Luke Skywalker for a minute, okay? I love Luke Skywalker. I love Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is my favorite. He 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 does my, he plays my favorite version of the Joker. I mean, I love all the other Jokers, but Mark Hamill is my favorite animated version of the Joker. He is so good. Ah. And those who are wondering, my favorite live action Joker is Heath Ledger. So there you go. Got a got a lot of love to got a lot of live up to there, Jared Leto. Anyway, but still, okay. So so. When Rey is holding out Luke's original lightsaber, it's not the one from Return of the Jedi, it's the original one that he lost in the Empire Strikes Back. But when Rey is holding out Luke's lightsaber and Luke turns around and he takes off his hood, I thought he was going to say that what he said in one of the trailers, like, the Force is strong in my family. I have it. My father has it. My sister has it. You have that power too. I thought he was going to say that. No! Mark Hamill gets zero lines in this movie. Yes. No one has a dialogue in this movie. He shows up near the freaking end of the movie. Says absolutely nothing. He says nothing in this movie. I'm just like, say something. Say something, Mark Hamill. Say something, Luke Skywalker. Say something. Ah. But nope. No one has a dialogue in this movie at all. What's a freaking ever? I'm just like, ugh. But I'm pretty sure we're actually going to hear him talk in episode 8 which is going to be coming out next year which I'm really looking forward to so yes and also we're getting a, a, a spin off movie coming out later on this year called Rogue One it's apparently going to be the story of how the rebels stole the Death Star plans and that will which will segue into episode 4 and stuff like that so there you go so yeah so that's basically all I have to say about episode 7 The Force Awakens um, hmm. What else can I say about this movie before I, before I go? Oh yeah! Admiral Ackbar is back! Yay! And seriously, I thought he was going to say, It's a trap! Like he did in Return of the Jedi, but nope. He does not say that at all. Which, per to be perfectly honest, I actually liked. So, there you go. Um, yes, overall, really great movie. I absolutely loved it. Go see it. It's awesome. I love it. You are going to love it. If you love Star Wars, go see this movie. I cannot recommend this movie enough. If you have not seen Star Wars before, go see this movie. You are going to love it. And it's going to make you want to go back and watch the originals. And I'm not sure if it's going to make you want to watch the prequels, but still, go see this movie. You're going to have the time of your life. I know I did. There's no post credit scene, so there you go. Anyway, go see this movie. You are going to love it. I had the best time ever. It's definitely my favorite movie of 2015. You are going to love this movie. So there you go. That's all I got to say on the subject. Um, tomorrow will be my, tomorrow I'll be starting my series of videos called Remembering Star Trek. So there you go. As I got to say on Star Wars, go see this movie. You are going to love it. So there you go. So I got to say, so there you go. May the force be with you. Bye.